In this video, I will show you how to set up IVS events on a DAWA in VR N52 N54 recorder. This also works for NVR 6A08 series. IVS stands for Intelligent Video System and these are the analytic functions with DAWA equipment. First thing you'll do is right click any place on the screen. You'll get a pop-up window and navigate to the main menu. Once you have the main menu on screen, click Event. On the left hand side, navigate to Smart Plan. Make sure you have selected the channel you're working with. In the case of this demonstration, it is channel D1. This little guy here is face detection and the light bulb is IVS. You're going to click on this light bulb. It will turn orange and you will click apply to save. This is telling the system that channel 1 is going to be using the IVS functions. Once you have done that, select IVS. Again, make sure that you have the channel selected that you're working with. To add an IVS rule, click Add at the bottom of the screen. Under Type, Tripwire is default. You also have Intrusion, Abandoned Object, and Missing Object. For this demonstration, we will draw a tripwire on the screen. So select Tripwire, click on the pencil icon, and it brings up the camera you're working with. To draw the tripwire on your screen, simply hold down the left mouse button and drag the line across the screen. Once you have completed your line, left click and then right click. As you can see, it says rule number one and we're going to get an event activation in either direction. You can select this for one direction or the other or both. We're going to select both. Now before you click OK, notice here that you have these small squares by rule one. This is your target filter. Click on those squares and you will see on the screen a square that you can adjust for the minimum size target and then by default on the outer edge is the maximum size target those can both be adjusted. Once you've had, you have adjusted your target filter, click OK. At this point, do not click Apply. You have another step to do. If you do not do this next step, it's not going to save properly. So after you have drawn your tripwire, your intrusion, abandoned or missing on the screen, you have to go to Trigger. That is this gear icon. This window is you tell the system what you want it to do when the event activates. For this demonstration, we want to send an email. We want to activate alarm output number one, and we'll do a local buzzer. And as you can see on the screen, you also have some other options. You can also tell the system how long you would like this event to latch and how many seconds of post record after the event takes place. Once you have made your selections, Click OK. At this point, you can now click Apply. Right click, right click again to exit the menus. And as you can see on the screen, we now have a trip wire drawn at the end of the driveway. Once there is an object in the screen, the system will draw a green box around the target object and once the tripwire is crossed, the tripwire will turn red, it will close our relay and we will hear the local buzzer activate.